What's going on my YouTube Make Money crew? In today's video, we're talking about how to create an online business that generates $150 per day or way more for beginners. And we're gonna do it all in less than 60 minutes. I'm gonna teach you how you can do this in more than likely under 30 minutes. So I hope you got your coffee ready. I hope you got your tea. I'm excited to share this blueprint with you because in the past four years, I've generated three types of businesses that have produced six figures online and the current business I have has generated multiple six figures, specifically over half a million dollars in revenue in the last two years. And so we've got a fire agenda for you today. So if you're excited about this online business blueprint, go ahead and type in biz blueprint in the comments and let's get going with this video. Now there are tons, hundreds of different business models out there, but I believe one of the fastest way to get up and going with making money online is with a online service Based business. Now, this is something that I've done. This is something that many, many of my successful entrepreneur friends have done as well. And what this means is tapping into the online education industry and online service providing industry. So we're going to talk about freelancing and we're going to talk about offering different services online. And this is how content creators are monetizing like crazy as they're creating content on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, TikTok, all of these social media platforms, this is the key to how they're making big money on the back end, right? And back end meaning driving traffic to a specific service or product, this is how it's done. And so on different videos, I've mentioned that one company called Signify Signal Fire, a company that did a study on content creators around the world found that content creators or content creation is officially the fastest growing type of small business in the world. And what this means is there's 50 million, right? Million with an L-I-O-N at the end. <laughs> 50 million content creators worldwide that claim that they're that's their business. They are content creators. So out of those 15 million, 13 million are YouTubers. And out of those 13 million YouTubers, 1 million are professional YouTubers, meaning that they make a minimum of six figures per year from their YouTube channels. And the majority of how they're doing it is, you know, with the things that we're going to talk about today. So today I'm going to go over what type of services we're talking about here and how you can tap into the service and education marketplace. We're gonna go over what you need in your business toolkit. We're gonna to go over traffic. We're gonna go over website versus sales funnels. What the heck, which one do I need and why? And then later on, we're going to go over the selling piece, the products and the services that are going to make you this amount of money per day. Now this video is sponsored by Skillshare, more on that later on. And this video is also dedicated to my 21 year old self who had no idea that she wanted to be a future entrepreneur, let alone a future online business owner, okay? And really I just wanna get that education piece out there for you guys so you guys have a clear path on what exactly to do in less than an hour. Okay, so understanding this part of your online business class that we're going over today in this video is understanding what services are available to offer, right? How you're going to get paid. So I've offered these myself, not all of them, but I know so many other creator friends that have offered similar types of services in the past. And I'm talking about, you could do social media management. You could do content creation. You could offer operations management for small businesses. You could offer paid advertising and managing and running other businesses, paid advertisements. You can offer sales copy. You can offer web website building and design. And of course you can build an online education based business where you create courses and different forms of education for people who want to pay you to learn about what you know. Okay, so now let's understand what's the difference between a freelancer, a contractor, and an agency. I'm sure you've heard of all of these kinds of things being thrown around on the internet. So a freelancer and contractor are kind of the same, but they're kind of different. So a freelancer is somebody who um, specifically has one of these skill sets and is able to offer these um, skill sets. Maybe uh, you've seen, uh, you've heard of Fiverr.com, Upwork, Freelancer.com. You've maybe heard of all of these websites where you can get hired to do a specific service. So that is a freelancer. They get paid specifically for a project to offer a skill or to complete a task for somebody, a small business, influencer, whoever it may be. A contractor could be 
Um, not necessarily a freelancer, but a contractor can kind of be the middleman between a freelance freelancer and a business. A contractor can definitely have these skills, but they may not be on the forefront of delivering this service and fulfilling this work like firsthand. So that would be the freelancer's job. And then an agency is somebody or is a organization, right? Even a, a small business in itself where they have multiple freelancers within the agency and contractors who are able to build out a system of fulfilling this service for multiple, multiple people, a solopreneurs, small businesses, etc. So somebody who owns an agency may not have any of the skill sets of graphic design, website building, social media management. They are just somebody who operates the entire business and they get paid from client acquisition, from basically delivering and bringing clients to the freelancers. They're able to get a cut of commission because they bring them the work. And so how would you decide between freelancer versus agency versus education? Well, I would say if you're somebody who has a skill, you love doing video editing or graphic design, or maybe it's operations management, I would suggest that you know you would go the freelancer route if you're somebody who loves project management and operations as a whole and overseeing things and still making money, you could start to think about creating an agency. If you're somebody who wants to create more of a passive income stream and you have an expertise that you want to get out and share and teach to the masses, then I would gear towards creating an education company and creating online courses and online education that are going to be helpful to several people, hundreds of people, thousands of people eventually, and that way you could scale your online education business and serve and impact so many people at once. As an example of an agency, my friend and fellow creator, YouTube creator, her name is Katie Steckley, really cool girl. She has a YouTube channel, but she also has an agency. Her agency is called Creatorly and she is out of Canada. So she's basically built up a team of skilled freelancers who is able to fulfill work they can do things like video editing, podcast editing, um, different social media repurposing for your content. It's really cool how she built up this agency. She's the head and owner of the agency and does basically all the driving of the traffic through her YouTube channel. And so she helps that company get the clients and then the freelancers that work for the agency fulfill the work and the client services. So it's really cool what she's built up, but that's basically an example of an online service-based business and a really successful one at that. Okay, let's talk about the next lesson in this online business tutorial, and that is your business toolkit. Your toolkit, so what tools are you going to need to operate everything day to day? So the first thing you're going to need for sure is a way to be productive. Okay, so this means a productivity system. This means a project management system because everything you do in your business, whether you're just getting started or you're three years into it, you're gonna need something to manage your day-to-day -day tasks, what you have to do, your to-dos, anything on your to-do list, whether it is business or personal, that's part of your business, okay? So you're gonna need to um, you're gonna need a way to track that. And my number one recommendation is Asana. You can get started for absolutely free, and you can continue using it for free. I I used the tool for free for about a year and a half until my team started to grow, and I had to upgrade. But Asana, go ahead and start that free trial. But with Asana, I highly recommend it. The next thing you'll need is a domain, a website domain, and a business email. So. I just use godaddy.com um, for my business email. I use Google Workspace. It's super easy to set up and create a business email and integrate it or connect it with your GoDaddy domain. And the next thing you'll need is an online sales funnel builder. So I prefer systems or business tools that are all in one, meaning they have sales funnels, email marketing, they have everything you need all in one system. So it's kind of like a way to centralize your business and house it so that you don't need to do all these complicated integrations and integrate MailChimp with an autoresponder and such and such. It's just, it gets complicated. So that's why I prefer to have my funnels, email marketing, my web pages all in one place. So you can refer to the description after this video for my number one recommended all in one business tools and sales funnel builders. So you can get started with that today. Okay, so the next lesson that we're talking about in this video is all about traffic, right? The thing that makes the foundation of your business and that makes the money and the sales. And this is a great time to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare, 
Now, what is Skillshare exactly? Now, think of Skillshare as an online community with a digital library of amazing classes that inspire creativity, that inspire you to sharpen a skill, learn a new skill, and learn how to level up in whatever it is you're trying to do. For example, in this video, we're talking about online business and the fastest way to creating a business online. And I would like to say that Skillshare has amazing topics on this very subject, including my class, which is all about YouTube for business and how to grow your business by leveraging the YouTube platform. So I highly recommend you click the link in the description to get started so you can take my class because the cool part about it is I have that class and I plan to post many, many more Skillshare classes within the Skillshare community. I personally get inspired by learning from the different teachers and creators on Skillshare and I know you will too. So with that being said, the first thousand people to click the link in the description below or use my code Marissa Romero will get a one month free trial to Skillshare and you can start consuming these amazing classes today. Okay, so now on the topic of traffic, of course, I love teaching everything YouTube marketing, video marketing, because video is the most powerful thing you can do. And as going back to the example with Katie Steckley, one of the reasons why her agency is so popular and so successful is because she utilizes video both on YouTube and on Instagram Reels and just content in general to really attract those clients to her agency. And so if you're not using video by now, you are losing, okay? And I don't say that lightly. And there's so many ways to create videos you can get in front of the camera. You can create faceless content where maybe you demonstrate something on a whiteboard, you're demonstrating something with your hands, maybe you have a baking channel, maybe you have a DIY crafts channel, um, maybe you are, maybe you can start creating content and use other people and not just yourself to help you create the content. So there's so many ways to go about it if you don't want to be the sole creator of content on your YouTube channel or your Instagram account, wherever it may be. But the point I want to make here is this is going to be your fastest way and least resistant way to creating money online. Whatever revenue you're trying to generate online starts with videos that you're putting out there, right? Because so many people get so discouraged because they're like, I have no audience, I have no list, I have blah, 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 I have nothing. It's like, well, people aren't born with email lists, right? They're not born with audiences, you have to create it. That's the beauty of the internet and social media nowadays is you can start to create an audience super fast nowadays. Um, it's, inc it's incredible like once you dedicate your first 30 days to posting content, how you can get up and running and get your first thousand followers, subscribers really, really relatively fast because these algorithms want to push your content, especially video content, they want to push it out there to different people. So. This is what's really cool. And if you want to learn more about YouTube and specifically to building a an audience of raving fans who's going to absolutely adore you, share your content, engage, and also buy from you, definitely go ahead and download my subscribers to sales blueprint up here or um, one of the, probably the second or third link in the description. It goes over the exact six steps you need to turn this thing you're watching right here into a powerful online business and sales machine. Okay, so for your next lesson in online business, we're gonna talk about a website. Now, so many people get freaked out of the term website because they think that they need one to get started. Well, it's, you know, kind of 50-50. You do need one, but you don't need one the way that you think you do. <laughs> and first off, building a website is so easy nowadays like anyone can do it you don't need to hire anybody you can literally get started and get a solid looking website up and running within an hour um, and i don't say that lightly you don't need several different pages you don't need all this fancy stuff like contact me location of business you just need the basics okay and the reason you need this is because um a lot of times like let's say for example you want to get a business loan or get a business bank uh, bank account or you're applying to be an, an affiliate for a program or people are asking information about you and your business, a lot of times you have to provide a business website. And so it doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to be a home online where you can direct people and say, hey, this is my business um, website, you know, it's marissaromero.com it's you know your agency name.com and that's what's the most important is just getting up a page on there just with 
basic information, what you do, what kind of service you offer, maybe your contact business email, that's really it. As you go on, you can have so many more features of your website, but um, don't, even if you can't build a website, don't worry about it right now. The main thing is that you have a way to start generating your own traffic for your business, right, in your company. And the best thing to do with that is to have a website in the form of a sales funnel. So a sales funnel is technically a website. There's like a .com address and it is, it's a link that you can share with people. Now this is also acceptable if, you know, some formal organization or bank or whoever asks you what's your website, you can give them your sales funnel link. That's perfectly fine. Um, but with sales funnels, there's, it's just much better because there's a purpose to the sales funnel. So it's either getting somebody to opt in to something. So putting in their name and their email, which is really, really important because once you have somebody's name and email, then you're able to remarket your services to them um, over and over so that they could eventually buy with you and, and purchase from you, you know, one time, several times, however many times you want to market to them. So that's the main difference between a website and a sales funnel. Website is kind of like your home online. It talks about you and the brand. A sales funnel has a specific purpose, whether that's to get email marketing leads, whether that's to sell something, um, whether that's to take a visitor to become a lead and take them through an entire buying process. That is also a possibility as well. I think if you had to choose between the two, I would go with a sales funnel because it's much more effective for the purpose of what you're doing in the beginning. It'll bring you more success faster, more money faster. I did not have an official website until just about a year and a half. No, less than a year ago. Um, I never had maristaromero.com. I got lucky that my domain was available, but I just started with sales funnel websites in the beginning. That's how I was able to make my first hundred dollar day. My first thousand dollar day was with a sales funnel and not a website. Okay. So let's talk about now products and services and the way you'll monetize online. And so the great thing about this is a product is more, and when I think of product is more in the form of digital, like something that you can sell over and over, like an ebook, um, digital course, a mini course, a video training series, a membership style course or program. And, um, even it goes up as high as like a high ticket coaching model where you offer high ticket coaching and you also offer coaching in a course like to go with it. So there's so many different ways to offer a product. My advice is to offer and focus on something where you are not directly involved with the fulfillment of the service. So whether that is uh, graphic design or social media management or operations management or the services that we talked about in the beginning of this video, I highly recommend that you try from the beginning to remove yourself from the product and the service you know, from the beginning, as I mentioned, because this is important to being able to scale because you are not going to be able to scale your time. If your time is heavily required, you can't scale that because we all have 24 hours in a day. You knew that. But if you are doing constant one on one clients, if you are doing constant like website design and development, that's impossible to scale up to a certain point. Yes, you can obviously charge more. However, you can't duplicate you. So you'll have to think about how you can really start to scale this product or service. So maybe let's say you offer a specific uh, coaching service, right? And you want to be able to scale that. The key here is to hire maybe a coach or another consultant that knows about exactly what you teach and how you teach it and they can help you teach it, right? So you, maybe you charge one client, let's say $5,000 per month. Um, and you hire on a coach that will fulfill the same work for $2,000 a month. That's pretty cool because you then remove yourself from the equation. The coach takes on the work and you are just in charge of making sure they fulfill the work and the client is satisfied. So that's pretty cool, but that's why you have to really think about how are you going to scale um, this service or product once things start to get going, because you can't be in demand all day, every day, because that's just creating another nine to five job for yourself. And that's probably not your main motivation for going into business. You probably want to free up your time more and more and more. And so that is the number one thing and number one factor that I say that you should consider. All right. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please join me in the video that's coming up next. Just click 
right here where you see the next video and I want you to click there check it out it's about making and creating two thousand dollars per month in passive income the simple way I think you're gonna like it and I'll see you on that next video now this is something you've probably never heard about before what does an equestrian aka a professional horseback rider and a toy creator have in common